Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will give a short intro on induction motor braking via DC dynamic. And if you want to download this simulink file, then link is in description. You can go and check out the link. Well, let me give an intro. Induction motor braking using a DC dynamic is an another method used to quickly stop the motor rotation. This method is also known as plugging or reverse current braking. In this method, the power to the motor is disconnected and then the DC voltage is applied to the motor terminals which causes motor to act as a generator. The generated current produces a magnetic field that opposes the direction of the motor's rotation thereby creating a braking torque that slow downs the rotor's rotation. To apply DC dynamic braking a circuit is added to the motor that includes a switch and DC power source and a resistor. When the power to the motor is disconnected, the switch is closed and DC power source is connected to the motor terminals. The resistor limits the current flow and prevents any damage to the motor winding. It is important to note that DC dynamic braking produces a large amount of heat and can cause mechanical stress on the motor. This method is typically used for smaller motors or motors that do not require frequent braking. Well, this was about just introduction to induction motor braking via DC dynamics. Let me run this simulink design and let me share the results with you. Here you can see the current waveforms and rotor speed waveform. This is electromagnetic torque waveform and this is voltage waveform. and here is the induction motor and this is the DC dynamic circuit and here is the input supply with switches. Well this was about just short intro about induction motor braking via DC dynamic. If you want to download this file then link is in description you can go and check out the link. Thanks for watching this video have a great day.